So I have two really interesting questions from the community. One of them is, how do you account for unevenness on a job site? Because the way a slab is poured is never, it's never perfect. We, we want mm-hmm. it to be perfect, but there's going to be some unevenness. How do you account for that fault um, while, laying, while laying these CMU bricks? It, it's a really, really good question. That person's obviously thought about this a fair bit. Um, look, there's a <clears throat> there's a couple of reasons why we get poor quality slabs. Um, it can be poor equipment and um, lack of detail by the uh, by the people that are doing it. Okay, so what what we do with the sites that we go to is we we tend to use the same guys, which they understand that we like to have our slabs done as accurately as possible. You know, you can do anything that you want. It just generally costs you a bit more, right? So if you want nice, accurate slabs, they generally cost you about, you know, three or $400 more to get that work done to the level of of, uh, accuracy that we like. And that's around about three to five millimetres of of variation over the the house slab itself, okay? If we get three to five millimetres, that's around about five times better than the accuracy that, a, that a, a manual mason will give you over the same distance, right? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, generally, if you, if you did a measurement corner to corner over a house structure after, the, after a manual mason team has been through, you can get up to you know, 25 millimetres of, of difference in the height. Uh, whereas we, whatever we have at the base, if we have three to five millimetres there, that's, that's what you'll end up at the top. You just transfer it to the top, right? So we put a bit more emphasis on the slabs. If we do get any variation come through the wall anywhere, and you can see it, if the machine's going around, it's doing it course by course, and you go, oh, that's a bit of a, there's a bit of a bump appearing there. Uh, We have what we call a bridge block, and it's just a brick that's sort of got the bottom of it milled out a little bit, and we take out the brick there, and we just plonk one of those bridge blocks in, and that makes it level again, and then the machine just keeps printing around. That's a, it's a real... Uh, I suppose, practical solution to that problem. And, and yes, for whoever that asked that, um, we, do have, we do encounter that from time to time, but we, we have solutions for it. 